Diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes, is more of a lifestyle-related condition. The amount of, you know, unhealthy foods that are available in the country are certainly leading to this growing rate of, of diabetes. So the numbers are growing uh, every year, almost at an alarming rate. Medications are one component to treating diabetes, but it's a lifestyle change. Um, and what we noticed is that because people are food insecure, they're not necessarily having access to the foods that are most helpful in treating their diabetes. Sometimes food's the last thing on the list and people have to make difficult choices. I've had to choose between uh, buying food or buying medication. And um, of course with the family, you try to buy the food, you know. You know, it's, it's been a challenge. <laughs> Our current hospital president at that time, Brian Jepson, called, and he was on the board of the Mid-Ohio Food Bank in Columbus, and he asked if we'd be willing to partner with them to uh, increase access to food for our food insecure diabetic patients. And they proposed to us having the food in our office. We had the space. We were looking at ways to teach our residents about social determinants of health and redoing our nutrition curriculum. So really food is health, that the access to healthy, fresh food will change your health. So when our patients um, come to the office to participate in Food is Health, uh, they sit down with a medical student and a resident. We want to know what they like, we want to know what they don't like, um, we want to know how many people are in their family. Then we set them up on a schedule. They can come in once a week or they can come in every other week depending on transportation issues, work issues. Through this program we're able not only to give them sort of information about what they can do at home but provide them with food and recipes so that um, they can work toward their goal of lowering their A1Cs or losing weight. They'll ask if we have any goals that we need, want to set, you know? Like uh, maybe this week I want to make sure I get this amount of this done or this amount of that done. And, um, you know, it kind of gives some, something to look for, you know? They walk us around through the pantry to get the food. And my granddaughter comes with me all the time and helps me and she does the cooking and the recipes that we get from here. It's really made a difference with the family and stuff. They like it. I don't think they ever knew what um, spaghetti squash was. And so they're trying different things. and It's improved a lot. By and large, I feel like our patients are just looking at their food differently. They're looking more at fresh fruits and vegetables as being kind of a staple. And to see a seven-year-old's eyes light up when she sees that we have cherry tomatoes this week, that's pretty amazing. And it just, it, I'm, what I'm hoping comes of that is that we are maybe even impacting the health and wellness of the next generation. We're definitely seeing a correlation between those who are coming regularly, um, participating, and their management of their diabetes. So we see weight loss, their blood pressure is going down, um, and their blood sugars are much better controlled. This is beyond the walls of this office or even the patient. It's affecting their family. I have another patient who will every week take an extra copy of the, the lesson and also an extra copy of the recipe. Not only does he care enough to um, make these changes in his life, he is reaching out and helping others. And what more can you ask for? They're, they're with you not only with the food and the diabetes, the, the medications. I think the program itself is, is, is wonderful. Like I said, it's been a blessing to me and my family. Uh, some of the other people that be there at the time that I'm there, are very thankful for it. I think it's made a lot of difference in a lot of people's lives. You know, people don't understand that, you know, it's not just food, it's the whole package.